So I saw Avatar last night, and uh, it was pretty much awesome. Um, it was not as action-y as I had predicted that it would be, mainly, hardly at all. I mean, there is cool parts, but as far as, like, battle sequences go, there's not... It kind of makes it seem like a war between the humans and the giant blue people. But it, it was not really like that for most of the movie. Uh, I will say to go see it. It's worth it to go to the theaters. Uh, I didn't see it 3D because I don't really care that much about 3D. And it was, it was, it was neat. Um, if you don't know what it's about, then just watch the movie trailer. Um, now, the special effects were amazing. Uh, I will give them that. It was, it's the most expensive movie ever made. Just in case you're wondering, uh, it cost about $500 million to make that movie. And I would, uh, it more or less paid off. You know, I mean, the, the colors, everything, like, the people looked real. The fake, like, 3D, not 3D, but, like, the uh, computer animated alien blue people. They looked real, and, uh, like, surprisingly real. Like, the texture on their skin and, like, everything, like, because I, I look for that. When I go to a movie that says that it has amazing special effects, I'm like, okay, well, let's see how real it looks. And they had, like, pores and everything, and, like, it was pretty amazing. Um, the wrinkles on the lips, and, and it was great. So, it was a little weird at some moments. Um, some of the things didn't make sense. If you don't want to be spoiled, aka spoiler alert, I'm about to tell you kind of what happens throughout the movie. Some of the things I did and didn't like. And, uh, so just turn it off now, if you don't want to know. Because I'm about to start. Okay, I liked the acting in it, it was pretty good, um, what I didn't like was that, why do the humans always have to lose? We get freaking romped in every single stupid battle, like, we can't, like at first I was like, yeah, rock em, Johnny, like we were jacking those aliens, we were just like shooting the crap out of everyone, like, blowing stuff up, I was like, yeah! Suck on that. Finally, we're beating the aliens. The giant people who are bigger than us. And have the brain capacity more likely, most likely, that they could, you know, develop similar technology. That's another, why didn't they accept any of our technology? We're like trying to buy them out and they're like, we don't accept anything but Mother Earth. Granted, they can like connect with the entire planet through their little hair tentacle things. Which was, it was neat, but at the same time didn't make any sense why that would even be like an option. Like, they can, they could literally like connect with every single object. That was a bit much. Like every animal, they could ride it and like have like a brain connection to it. Um, I really wanted the GI Joe guy to like fight hand to hand combat with uh, the blue alien of Jake. I thought that would be really neat. They also forgave him awfully quick for not saying one word about, you know, them coming to destroy their entire home. That was a little... I mean, they got mad about it once it was about to happen. Like, what? You didn't tell us? Well, I, I was sent here so that you would trust me to tell... Okay, what? You should have been warning them, like, the entire time. As soon as they accepted you, you should have been like, oh, also, by the way... We probably should form, like, some kind of defensive plan or something because the humans are about to come jack everyone and just ruin this place. But they didn't. And then all of a sudden, when they came to attack the home tree, their arrows are, like, bouncing off that giant plane. And all, like, the little planes, too. Like, they're just shooting the arrows and it's like, ba-ding, ding And then all of a sudden, at the very end battle, they have, like, armor piercing round arrows like those things are like incredibly strong and then we suck at aiming now all of a sudden like at the very end a guy jumps on the ship and no one can shoot him for like 10 seconds and he's just like chucking people out of the plane something that's funny and you'll realize this where did that guy you know his avatar his avatar got killed the guy from dodgeball his avatar gets killed, he puts on an oxygen mask, he grabs a gun and runs into the forest, assuming 
that he's gonna go fight the humans more. Where did he go? He just like all of a sudden at the end of the movie he has a new avatar, and he's like holding a gun. Where did Jake get his gun? Because at first I was like, where did where did he get that thing? And someone's like, oh, he probably got it from the helicopter. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Wait a second. The helicopter when she had her plane rigged up, she had the gun mounted, so that when she fired, it shot out of the side too. And I was like, so that's not where the gun came from. And also. I just didn't get it. They like shoot through the windshield. There's a hole in the windshield. But somehow the oxygen doesn't get out through bullet holes. It's only if like there's a massive hole in the windshield. Like she was breathing the whole time without an oxygen mask. I was like, they should have, I mean, even they say like the cabin supposedly sealed off, but they're like yelling back and forth to each other. I don't know. It didn't make a whole lot of sense. So, uh, also. I loved that the robot at the end, that the G.I. Joe guy, I'm just going to keep calling him G.I. Joe. You guys know who I'm talking about. He, his robot, Jake, like, no, 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 the animal jaguar thing, like, grabs his gun, like, somehow breaks it over a rock into, like, pieces. I'm not sure how that happened. But he, like, f throws the tiger. He whips out a knife. That was freaking awesome. I loved that little knife battle. It didn't make any sense why the robot would have a knife. But uh, it was still really awesome. I figured he would like grab it off the bayonet part of the gun. What do you want? Oh. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it was a good movie. Uh, kind of weird that everything in that world lights up at nighttime. Uh, that was interesting. And then they made the. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be like. Okay, and then the mating thing, that was kind of weird. Actually, it was just really weird and awkward, like, we can, uh, I don't even want to, it, like, wasn't, I don't know. Like, they called it sensuality, I think, or sexuality, and, like, the PG-13, like, why it's rated PG-13. That wasn't really, like, even sensual or sexual, that was just, like, odd. It's like the feeling you get when you accidentally step into quicksand. Or it's like, what the heck? This looks like regular sand, but my foot's sinking in. And like, you just have that uncomfortable feeling of like, this is what I'm seeing. I should be stepping on solid ground, but my foot's going under and that's making me uncomfortable. Okay, G.I. Joe punches a handicapped guy. I mean, how am I supposed to respect him after that? <laughs> the guy's freaking laying down. He, like, wakes up and he goes, boom. Don't do that. Don't do that, a handicapped guy. It's rude. I really, I just wish they would have fought mano a mano. G.I. Joe and the big blue guy. G.I. Joe could have a knife. Maybe, like, Jake somehow loses his knife. So he's, like, you know, just giant blue guy. I just really wish the humans would have won. You know, maybe like a valiant effort on their part. And maybe it's like, oh, you know, we died, but the rest of the Nawabi, whatever the heck they're called, they'll, they'll come and avenge us and they'll drive the Skymen out. I'm really waiting for Avatar 2 Return to the Skymen. That should be really, really awesome. Well can't really think of anything else, so go see the movie. It's good. And uh, if you notice anything else weird, I'm trying to remember anything else that I saw that was kind of a little off base, just let me know, and uh, we'll kind of talk about it. It'll be interesting to see if anyone else found things that didn't quite make sense. And uh, have fun.